this video session is going to be about a USD and how powerful it is compared to other file formats uh, when it comes to scene handling and memory efficiency. Let's grab a, a tree. We have this uh, banyan tree that is found in nature. It has a uh, hair-like vines on its body. So let's go ahead and grab it from uh, Speed Tree Cinema. Just go ahead and simply search banyan. And then just grab the tree. Once you have the tree, simply open it in uh, Speed Tree and select the main uh, tree node and make sure it's a quadded model. By default, it's on the triangle. Uh, you can see everything is in triangle. We could simply hit Control 2 on the keyboard. So this is not a friendly model to work with. So let's change it to quad and also the subdivision to quad, but leave uh, the leaves to triangle mode. We don't want to change that. And control one to reverse, and then make sure you export uh, these two leaves, these batched uh, leaves separately. We have the first leaf. You can go ahead and just tap edge on the keyboard to hide it, and then to unhide it. So we have two types of leaves that are different. So it's gonna be easier to have at least a variation uh, on the look depth stage. So make sure uh, you select the first leaf and then go to file, export selected as mesh. So I already did it, I'm not gonna do it again, but make sure you select the universal scene description or USD file and then hit export. So uh, I exported it as a different types of uh, model to work with. I have the leaf variation one into the trunk and the vines. This is the second leaf. So the same thing, go to file, export selected as mesh, and then USD. We have uh, the branches here, the big branch. We have the inner vines and we also have the outer vines. Just make sure you select them and export them as separately. And then the trunk. And then once you do that, uh, open Houdini and then let's go ahead and unhide hide this one and let's enable visibility for banyan tree this is the tree that i want to show you how difference it's gonna make So I have imported all uh, the tree uh, mesh. We have the trunk, the leaf variation one, and uh, the vines. So I merged it down and then we have uh, the banyan tree. Now this is the USD file that I have imported it and I'm going to show you the difference with the IBJ file that I did and the memory difference that it took on your uh, uh, machine. So let's import the trunks IBJ. Uh, before that I want to show you how different it is even in terms of size. So if you see the trunks USD file, uh, it's 27 
megabytes. And if you see the RBJ model, it's more than 100 megabytes. So there's a big difference right there for memory. But let's load and look at the RBJ model. This is the RBJ model. Uh, let's load the next model, which is going to be the leaves. As you can see, it took a little bit longer even to load because it's a bit heavier file compared to the USD file. I'm going to show you in a minute. And let's load the rest vines. Oops, that's the USD file. Let's grab the OBJ vine. All right, let's remove this. Let's merge them. Now we have the uh, RBJ model of the Banyan uh, version, and we have the USD version. Now, what I'm going to show you is this video's purpose is about uh, using USDs for memory efficiency. So when you come to the USD output your final output it could be the merge or the null doesn't matter when you click and see how the memory is how much the memory is using you can see it's uh, literally nothing it's eight kilobytes in size and when you come and check the rbj version of this it's going to be the entire model which is uh, 467 megabytes so you might not think this might be the same for a uh, good spec high-end uh, computers but the problem that you're going to face is when you start to instance your meshes uh, your scene is going to be really heavy and you can handle you cannot handle it anymore and your computer might crash so this is where USD comes in handy so instead of using USDs, which took like 460 megabytes, and imagine instancing uh, all this uh, geo information on a huge terrain, uh, it's better to instance uh, this basically nothing. So yeah, this is the difference. That I want to show you uh, we don't need that this is bullshit so what we're gonna need is the banyan out let's see that we have an instance of it Alright, so as you can see, I have already instanced the trees uh, probably, I don't know, a thousand times. Not really. Let's see the scatter. Let's see, 39,000. Now, it's really interactive as you can see. Uh, yeah, that's too much. Let's decrease it a bit and then, yeah, let's fire redshift and let's see how this renders. Boom. There you go. This is how fast it is, like. I didn't do any uh, speed up thing on this video. This is literally in real time. Uh, with this old geometry. You can 
move around. Maybe let's reduce the trees to 1000 maybe. So next time if you want to create something uh, like a forest scene or any heavy looking scene and USD might save uh, your ass basically so go ahead and try it uh, yeah thanks for watching use USD USD is the future of uh, 3d animation you can go ahead and check out uh, a lot of USD stuff on Houdini's uh, YouTube channel thanks for watching like, subscribe, and share this video. Alright, have a good one.